Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is September the 28th, 2022. We're here to talk about Beyond Meat. And could Beyond Meat possibly be going bankrupt? Like, for real, we need to start contemplating that this particular company is not doing too well. I mean, you guys can see and on the price chart for Beyond Meat, like, this has been a complete dud. I know a lot of people on YouTube has been pumping Beyond Meat and look at the result. This is what happens when you continually come in and create videos and pump up stocks. It has no impact on where price is going to go. The true money makers already knew from off the rip where Beyond Meat is going to go. Check this out. I'm going to talk about an article uh, talking about another higher rank executive within Beyond Meat quit, resigned. And that's one of the key signs that can say that, yeah, Beyond Meat is in trouble. And if Beyond Meat is in trouble, then we should already know from a fundamental standpoint that we should not be buying the stock up. So now hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe to the channel. There's an article right here, though. Okay, you guys can see it from justfood.com. Beyond Meat loses supply chain chief days after the chief operating officer was arrested for biting a man's face. Everyone is doing some drastic things who sits high up in the management of Beyond Meat. What in the world is going on in Beyond Meat internally? The CEO got arrested for biting someone's face at a football game. And now the supply chain chief resigns. There he is right there. Bernie Adcock steps down in tumultuous week for the plant-based foods producer. He's gone out the door. B-leaguer plant-based food producer Beyond Meat has lost a second senior executive days after it suspended its chief operating officer. Bernie Adcock would step down as chief supply chain officer at the end of the month to pursue, quote, to pursue another opportunity the U.S. company announced on Friday. Yeah, he, he he's on the inside. He knows what's going on within Beyond Meat. And he sees the writing on the walls like, look, people ain't eating up this fake meat. People don't want fake meat. Adcock joined the California, the California based meat alternative supplier in 2021. Here it is, 2022. And he joined in 2021. And he's resigning right now. After eight years as chief supply chain officer at the meat processing giant Tyson Foods. So he was eight years at a real meat factory, Tyson. But he was less than a year at Beyond Meat 2021. He handed in his resignation last Tuesday in SEC filing states. Now, to add even more pressure to Nelson, he's the one that is going to take over Adcock's role, right? So it has right here. Adcock's role will not be replaced and his responsibilities will not will not will be taken over by Jonathan Nelson, the company's senior vice president of manufacturing operations. Now, check this out. He has his own responsibility, right? Jonathan Nelson. He's the senior vice president of manufacturing. He now has to do the role of what Adcock was doing once he resigns, once he leaves. That's double the work. You think his pays are going to go up too? Now, to even add more pressure to his workload, which is his own personal workload that he has to do, he has to do the work of Adcock. He also was tasked with filling in as chief operating officer as Douglas Ramsey was arrested. So this one man is doing the work of three people. Now, if that continues... He's going to resign as well, too, because you can only put so much on your plate. Beyond Meat seems to me like they are trying to reduce the workforce. So instead of them trying to go out and, and find someone else, they're trying to give it to this person, Nelson. He is doing his job. He is doing Adcock's job, and he also is doing Ramsey's job. I think Beyond Meat needs to hurry up and fill some positions because if they don't, Nelson is going to be putting in his letter too, resigning from Beyond Meat. All right. Now look at this. 
all of this resignation, uh, resignation, arrest, firings, Beyond Meat share price continues to go down amid broader concerns about the growth of the plant-based meat market in the U.S. Nobody's really grabbing a hold of to the fake meat. They thought that they had a market. They thought that they could car carve out a lane for fake meat that people would like. But as you can see from the price chart, it's not sticking. Beyond Meat stock dipped to $14.70 on Friday and has plummeted 36% in the past month alone and 86% in the past year. In one year, the stock is down 86%. Now, if you wanted to short a stock, you could have been massively wealthy, short and beyond meat. Just last month, they forced job cuts and slashed its revenue forecast against a backdrop of cash strapped consumers trading down to lower price products. Yeah. Fake meat is expensive. And with the rise of interest rates and inflation people are going to go to the cheaper alternative unless beyond meat comes up with a cheaper alternative of fake meat um, they're going to have to continually reduce their revenue forecast it expects their 2022 sales to be 470 million to 520 million dollar range compared to its prior steer of 560 to 620 it also anticipates it will have to let four percent of its global workforce of more than a thousand go hard times you come back to the chart and see that yeah it makes sense like think about it beyond meat was trading as high as 240 dollars is now down at 14 dollars and 73 cents now being fully transparent with everyone, I did a price prediction into the market and beyond meat, and I was looking for the market to trend higher, and it has not done it. Completely got that one wrong. Yes, I did. Now look at this. If you if you were to get out when the market and beyond meat broke below 35, that's around 29%. But I know so many people like to hold on and wish and, and say that, well, eventually it'll go back up, you know. I'm a long-term holder, so I, I, I'm going to hold the stock for the next 60 years, and hopefully by then, Beyond Meat will be back up to where I can profit. No, if you were to get out now, you're down 70%. All right, it happens. Now, I'm here to tell you, this stock is not a buy, period. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone tries to tell us. This stock is in a massive, hurtful downtrend okay so if we ever see the price in beyond meat go up guess what you want to not hold this stock long okay because we have this massive downturn downtrend in place we are not going to be bullish in this stock until we see beyond meat break outside of this downtrend line so as of right now, expect the market in Beyond Meat to continue to fall lower. You guys can see right here on the three months chart since we have two days and nine hours left that that's massive weakness. Like we're trading at all time lows and Beyond Meat. I'm not even going to do a price prediction on here. I'm just going to continue to let the market go down until we see an influx of people trying to buy this stock up. Until then, this is not a play. If you're trying to buy the stock, keeping it real. That three month price bar right here is not pretty. It looks ugly. Look at that. Look at the monthly chart. Okay. We can even see on the monthly chart that Beyond Meat is breaking this all important support area of $20. So, yeah, it's not a buy. We're going to continue to expect the price in Beyond Meat to go down. And since we don't have a bottom, since we don't have anywhere over here, that we can gaze as a place of support, we just could say it could go anywhere. It could go to zero, it could go to $5, who knows? Because there's not a bottom. The market hasn't determined the buy area just yet. They haven't found an, an attractive price point. And if you don't find an attractive price point, you don't come in and touch the stock. You just continue to let it fall down. All right, so that's my prediction 
in Beyond Meat. Price continue to go down until we see the influx of buyers coming into the market. All right, make sure you maintain the profitability and give me your thoughts about Beyond Meat. Do you really think they're going bankrupt? Let me know.